Hello, and welcome to Nana's Kitchen. If you are catching me live, hello Lucille, put a one in the comment and tell me where you're coming from. And if you're catching me new, please put new. If you're watching this on a replay, please put hashtag replay. And again, tell me if you're catching me for the first time and where you're coming from. So guys, we have a very tiny garden. And, and I mean very tiny, as in three zucchini plants and two tomato plants. I'm talking tiny. And, but the zucchini plants are producing quite well. So I did something yesterday and my girlfriend was like, oh my gosh, this is so good, it's gotta go on a live. So, here I am. Hey Penny, how are you? So all I've done so far is um, took my zucchini and I took the skin off and now I've chopped them up, up into little bitty pieces like this and I have water boiling with some salt in it and I'm just gonna dump those in there and I'm going to let that cook for just a little bit. I have my oven preheating at 350 and I'm just making a small portion because we've already had dinner this will be my lunch tomorrow um, but I have sprayed it with a little Pam hello Pam <laughs> hey David how are you all right so in my pot I have hey Pat I have my zucchini cooking I've just done one zucchini um, because again, I'm just making a small portion for my lunch tomorrow. Hello, Wanda. Wanda, do not forget to let me know tomorrow if you get your package from me. All right, so in this bowl, I have grated up some, um, some cheese, um, about a half a cup and a half a tablespoon of uh, Kerrygold butter and two ounces of cream cheese. That's just what I use when I'm making my macaroni and cheese, and that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, and I'm going to add just a splash, not much, uh, maybe, maybe a tablespoon. And again, you would adjust this recipe for how much you want to make. Um, but again, I'm making just a small portion. And then in just a, um, a minute, I'm going to stick that in the microwave. You received it today? Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Wanda. I was not expecting it to go that fast. He said by Friday, so I just thought it would um, it would take till Friday. Well, awesome. I'm glad to know that you got it. Hello, Priscilla. How are you? Michelle, great. Um, so I am taking this uh, zucchini. I'm boiling it. Um. And it's just gonna be fork tender. Hang on a second. The thing about doing these things is, hey Amy, how are you? Oh, I missed somebody. Hang on, M Michelle, hello. Hey Sissy, how are you? Rainbow City, Alabama. I've never heard of Rainbow City, where is it? My hero is on here, Kitty Nolan. Shout out to Kitty. Um, my county, it, um, because, you know, everything that has happened this year in school systems wants teachers to ensure that they are providing the best um, knowledge for students as we're looking to what's going to happen. Nobody knows. Um, but, you know, we are always taking professional development and everything, and so we have this opportunity to do Google certification. And uh, Kitty Nolan, um, well, Kitty Brown, Kitty Nolan, because I've known her since she was a little girl, um, is our academic coach, and she has done an amazing job helping. And um, I'm, I've been nervous and, and 
freaking out about it and right now I'm just like so excited like I'm ready I feel ready and I'm excited so keep me in your thoughts and prayers for my three-hour test in the morning um, I woke up in the middle of the night last uh, not before last um, and had to talk myself down meaning I was like I woke up and I was like just let's just go get this test done at 2 a.m. so I'm like no good thing I hadn't registered I couldn't have taken it anyway but um, so anyway I'm, I'm I've gone from upset freaking out to now I'm excited so um, and that is all kudos to Kitty I hope so Priscilla luckily we, there's a redo if I mess this up but I know I have a support with Kitty if I if I if I do, if I do mess it up but you know I, I feel ready I feel ready and I appreciate um, the support guys I, I cannot speak highly enough my county oh my gosh the amount of support that we receive when we need training is amazing. They are fabulous. Hello, Ruth Ann. Hey, I, 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 I don't know about acing it, Wanda, but, but I, I feel confident. I feel confident. I, I've studied for two weeks, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm work, I feel like I'm ready. All right, so we're just waiting for this to sort of get fork tender. It doesn't have to get too squishy. I'm not trying to make squishy. So hang on while I put this in uh, the microwave. Again, this is my cheese. It's what I normally put when my grandkids want mac, mac and cheese. This is my mac and cheese. It's, um, well, actually there's usually more cheese, but I haven't been to the grocery store. Uh, so usually I have cheddar cheese. I have uh, mozzarella cheese. I have any kind of shredded cheese you can think of goes in uh, along with um, cream cheese and butter and a little heavy whipping cream. That's just the sauce I've always made. Um, and luckily, it's still an appropriate good sauce. So um, keto allows it. So I'm going to pop this in the microwave and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna just melt that up so that, and I could, I could have chosen not to melt it um, because what I'm going to do is uh, strain this in just a second and i um, gonna look for my strainer. And, um, and then I'm gonna dump these into this bowl, pour the cheese on top, and then really it, it's all cooked. So at that point, I'm just heating it so that it gets bubbly. And I like it brown, the cheese brown on top. A lot of people may not, that's okay. Just don't put it on broil or don't bake it as long as I do. Um, and typically I would bake this uh, for about 15 minutes. And then I always end it off with a broil on top just so that I can get the brown on the cheese because I like that. Hey, uh, it, do you pronounce your name Jonna or Johnny? Johnny. I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to to see. I don't I don't see little print very well. All right, guys. Uh, again, I'm not trying to get it super soft. Just fork tender. Just barely there. Let me strain it. This poor little zucchini could have used another day or two. Hey, D. Um, and but I wanted to bring this to you. Check my cheese. Check my cheese. Oh yeah. Mixing that up now. Oop. Make a mess. All right. So now. Literally, I'm just going to dump this in here. Now, I may have put too much cheese in my bowl, but I'm going to just add 
the melted cheese that I just made, just made the cheese sauce, okay? And I'm just gonna add the appropriate amount of what I, well, I like cheese, so. It doesn't always like me. A matter of fact, for many years I was very allergic. Um, but late, for the last year and a half, I, I did some desynthesization stuff and hopefully, you know, it'll stay that way so that I can have cheese. Mm. I'm the only one eating it, guys. Mm. Thank you for sharing it out because sharing is caring and I appreciate that. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to set that one aside. Hang on. This is hot, so let me see if I can grab it in a way where you can see it without me getting burned. Amanda, it's whatever cheese I happen to have. So tonight was two ounces of cream cheese, one tablespoon of butter, um, one, uh, no, excuse me, half a tablespoon of butter, um, and um, I shredded some um, cheddar cheese, um, but normally it's, it's a lot more cheese. Like I, I put whatever cheeses, um, Asiago, um, Monterey, Swiss, it's whatever cheese I have. Um, but tonight, that's what I had. So guys, see I made one ahead for you guys and one for making, so here it is. So here you go, look at that. And it's like a bit of heaven, it's like a zucchini au gratin, but it it's kind of like mac and cheese. Mm. And I love when the cheese is um, nice and has the brown places. Mm. Oh, guys. Yes, Ruth Ann, that's exactly what it is. And it is so good. And... Now I have my lunch out hot tomorrow and my dinner tomorrow night. So I will absolutely get you that recipe. It is super simple and super quick. Um, and so, hey, Tina, how are you? I, um, again, I had, you know, I, with the garden, uh, with, uh, I really shouldn't call it a garden, guys. With my zucchini and my tomatoes, um, it was um, really quick. So, Amanda, I put it on 350 and I cook it about 15 minutes because, again, the cheese is melted, the zucchini's done. I'm just trying to get it hot and blended. And then the last few minutes, about 15 minutes, Amanda, the last few minutes, I put it on broil. That's so that I can get the nice brown bubbly the nice brown bubbly, that's the way I like it. Hey, Lori, how are you? How's that beautiful grandbaby? I, I, um, so, guys, that's that's what I have for you tonight. Um, we're coming. You're welcome, Amanda. And I, uh, if you are um, not part of the group where I post my recipes, um, just put group in the comment. Now, we have to be friends. Facebook friends in order for me to put you, add you to the group, but um, if uh, you would like to be friends, you can either send me a request or if you put group, I'll shoot you a friend request, but until we're friends, I cannot add you to the group, and then I'm always happy to tag you to the recipe of your choice, uh, but if you are already part of the group, absolutely, Tina, if you are already part of the group, then um, it will be hashtag bike club zucchini all rotten. So there you go. That's what it will be. Hey, Layla, how are you? Uh, Ruth Ann, I will make sure to add you to the group and to tag you to that recipe. 
Priscilla, I, I will check to see if you're in the group. And if not, um, Priscilla, are we already Facebook friends? I don't know. If we are, I will tag you in the group. If if you're in the group, I'll just let you know. So, Or I'll tag you to the recipe and let you know. So, okay, guys. You all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I am so glad that you are part of uh, Nana's Kitchen. I love coming to you guys and interacting with you. Um, it makes me happy. And... Hello, Layla. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really know that some really wonderful people have supported me um, in helping me to do that, to prepare, and so I am prepared. Hello, Crystal. We just made a wonderful zucchini au gratin uh, or zucchini and cheese. Um it reminds me of mac and cheese. It tastes delicious. And um, I hope you'll go back and watch it on the replay and see, see how simple it is. All right, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day tomorrow. I don't know what I'll bring you tomorrow. I've got to get to a grocery store. Uh, going on vacation last week, we didn't get home till Sunday. And we only shop on the weekends. Um, and normally we have plenty in the house. But my daughter, her husband, and my grandson, as you know, were here. And so I knew I was leaving for vacation. And so we just ate up everything that we had. And so we are truly living on the edge this week. Hey, Julie. Um, I just finished Zucchini Au Gratin. Catch it on the replay. You and Ashley, have a fabulous day tomorrow. Bye, guys.